All right, so I think we're live now. I think we're live. I'm pretty sure all the our internet woes are gone. And uh, actually, are we going to be able to see? We're not going to be able to see the cams of uh, Addison, are we? It's mostly Addison I want to look at. <laughs> I want to. I want to just watch Addison smoke his pipe while he plays this game. Addison, of course, wearing his magnificent wizard hat. I can't tell if he's wearing a wizard hat anymore because we don't get to see that, but his magnificent wizard hat given to him for Secret Santa. I think we all agree it was a, the best investment he's ever made. Let me just get my headphones on as well so I can kind of hear what's going on in the game. With me is Chris Dallas, renowned StarCraft expert who will uh, be telling me what is going on tonight in the game. Reigning champion is the title I prefer. Reigning champion, okay, right, right. Uh, and tonight we have uh, the Battle of Gold, as Addison has called it. Two, two gold warriors, gold ranked, and they will be battling it out tonight. Two Protoss gold guys. And then this is the whole control aid business, I believe, from before. Music disabled, music enabled. Oh, Ash Ashkor is uh, one of those. Uh, which is, yeah, I guess that's Addison. Oh, oh, the, both these guys are GLHF types, are they? Like before, I think. I, I think all Mr. Champion here did not waste precious uh, microseconds typing GLHF. What are we doing here? We seem, seem to be uh, changing the sound settings or something. So th these might be some proxy pylons Where's they're port? building there, I guess. Where's port? Where's port? They're trying to pause the action, I think, to... Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, this action will not stop. This is non-stop action here anything. tonight. We, we can't pause anything. There's no pause button on this train. This train has, <laughs> has no brakes. I would at least now get a brief glimpse of Addison's magnificent hack before it's back into the non-stop action of tonight's proxy pylon matchup. Nobody We've gives a what? We've got a scout. Oh yeah, a little scouting uh, probe there. No one gives uh, more for their fans than the uh, the probes. <laughs> we got Gateway Forge. I was trying some. Uh, proxy pylon stuff earlier myself. It was kind of based on my my Terran proxy barracks stuff. I tried just building a bunch of gateways. It, it worked a bit. It worked a bit. Later on you'd get those what are they called? Like the warp gates or whatever. You turn your your yeah barracks into a super barracks and they can just teleport Protoss in. And that's really cool and useful. So uh, tell us something about how, how they're playing here, Chris. There's nothing. Nothing, nothing going on. Chris all. assures me that <laughs> nothing is going on in this game. There may be total non-stop action, but at the same time, oh, he's a cannon. nothing is happening. We've got one cannon. <laughs> it's a nice relaxing game when nothing is happening, even when something is kind of happening. I think Chris believes he can, he can play the game. He's trying <laughs> to make them get warp gates. Warp gates are easily the most fun Protoss thing they have in uh, StarCraft 2, I think, over StarCraft 1. They didn't have that in in StarCraft 1. Oh yes, there we go. Looks like they, they are researching warp gates. I think there's some kind of proxy pylon plan here. A little bit ahead. That's a boat Addison is a little bit ahead. Um... Just uh, looking at some of the stats here, see, see what kind of patterns emerge. <laughs> nothing is happening. We repeat, nothing is happening. Now, Addison, I know, has been uh, been. He's somewhat new to StarCraft. I think he's been he's been learning the moves. He's been asking all the right questions and learning. He's learning Protoss. He was pretty good before. He came at me with Archons. I'm not sure he quite made the Archons attack me, but he's probably learned to do that by now. So he's hoping Anderson comes out there with Archons and makes them attack properly this time. I, I guess, broadly speaking, I'm rooting for the Grand Wizard. 
I, I, yeah, I have a, I have a good feeling about Addison in this match. I think it's not doing well. No, not compared to Tom right now. Oh, is Tom doing better? Tom is doing better. Tom's base looks kind of more boring to me. I don't know. Just... I think Tom's got a Nexus. He's oh, got... what's? Oh, am I getting? Yeah, Anna. I guess. He's got Stargate. Actually, yeah, we've already got them mixed up. Maybe it's maybe it's all right. Yeah, I think. Tom's orange. Yeah. Okay. So maybe Tom. Hmm. Yeah, I think actually Tom Tom's kind of proxy cluster there looks pretty good. Maybe Addison is going to get some uh, some of those dang void rays. I mean, it sounds like if you let Protoss live too long and they make tons of void rays, they can beat pretty much anything. A bit like battle cruisers, but but worse, I think. And I mean, worse in the sense that they're more dangerous, not that they're actually worse. But I tried to try that once too. For some reason, a, a very hard computer let me live and. Uh, Ended up just building a whole bunch of void rays, and they just they just sort of laser everything away. Just air and ground, no problem. Oh, Tom has uh, void rays. I think Chris wants them to use prismatic alignment. In fact, what does prismatic alignment do for you? It does a little bit more damage, apparently. M more damage against armored units of 14 seconds. That sounds useful. Oh, so it, it is just kind of more power against armored units. I thought it was something more, you know, strategic. That's something I didn't know. He got warped in quite a bit. What's, actually, what's this, this warp speeding up thing? Warp, in. warp conduit. Great. Oh, so, well, I thought well, I thought you could only warp things in in what is in like building Protoss building units get warped in quick, quicker. Wait, what, you're supposed to. Uh, I don't know. I don't play this. Okay, apparently race. neither of us really know how Protoss work. There's if, a lot. If this was a Zerg Green Protoss, I would tell There's you a that. lot of warping, and they love Ire. Okay, they love Ire a great deal. See, Addison's gonna attack here. And they very much favor Artanis, I think, and and um, Tassadar. That's the one. Tassadar. He's the one who bravely sacrificed himself at the end of Starcraft One, isn't it? Spoilers. It's very important. Yeah, spoilers for super old games. In, 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 the trouble with the brave sacrifices in these games is that they always seem kind of silly because, like, it happens right near the end of the mission and you're doing fine. You've got, like, 12 Terran battle cruisers. Everything's fine. You're just shooting away to the Zerg and then Tassadar's like, Oh, I, guys, I, I just need to sacrifice myself for a second, okay? Just, just I need to make a brave sacrifice and inspire the Protoss. It's like, I, we're, honestly, I, I think Tassadar wanted to die. I think... It's like the end of Fallout 3 or something, you know? Well, you, you've just got to sacrifice yourself. Some people seem to love that. I don't know. So, so what happened there in that scuffle, by the way? Uh, Addison attacked and got wrecked. Uh, Addison got wrecked. He is yeah. now retreating. Yeah, I think See, Tom's... Tom has a proxy pylon ready to go. Oh, okay, yeah. So I, I think Tom is, Tom is getting there. He's got the equipment ready. He's got his proxy pylon. He's got a plan. Don't see it. Oh, Addison has not even Wait, seen the proxy pylon. And now Tom's spreading. Okay, I think Tom is on the way. Addison is going to have to pull out some major moves to snatch victory from the, uh, the jaws of Tom, I think, here. I don't know why he's building that. It's a bad idea. So, producing more void rays, I I'm seeing with my uh, seeing eye. This is pretty cool, actually. I get this interface that tells me... Like, that, sh that should happen when you're... I feel like you ought to be able to see what they're building while you're building it. It's kind of cool, actually. Or when you're playing. Yeah, like when you're playing, you should be able to see what you're building. It makes some kind of sense. Yeah, I guess. And that, that could be a thing. That's or more, more next eye. Yeah, but his is in a good location. Yeah. This is... I don't know what this is. I, mean, I do that now, like I, when I build my, my dickish bunkers up near the uh, enemy base, I like to build uh, a command center right near it because I can kind of see it and it just takes minerals and I think I guess I'm more interested in the convenience and the dickishness really than any great strategic opportunity that, yeah. Better to have, a, yeah I guess it is, but, it's, but it is more dickish and I get the feeling Tom can afford to be more dickish at the moment, I think yeah. All the void rays and everything. If, yeah. if only Addison had void rays or or anything much, really. Right. Normally, I'm I'm wondering about the uh, the priority actually of uh, whether you should get try and get the pylons first or the buildings. Oh no, that looks like they they could have got away. They could, could choose to retreat. Like they'd choose to stick around for some reason and risk that middle void ray there. That seems like a 
unnecessary movement. Maybe some uh, shield batteries or something would help uh, these hit and run tactics. Bit of hit and run with void rays. Is, is Addison sticking around? Tom is too wealthy, and and also yeah, he's he's being weird about his hit like. The thing about hit and run tactics, folks, is that you've got to know when to run as well as when to hit. So I, I think he's being reckless with his void rays and just desperately going after those. Like, it's not even that significant a victory getting that one barracks. Oh, now we've got a significant battle. I think, okay, I think Anderson is microing properly. He's, he's targeting them one after another. Oh, oh it's, this is good. This, this could be an important battle for Addison here. I think he's, he's taking it back. Oh, but no, no, he's outnumbered now. I, I think I did not quite realize those zealots were uh, Tom's. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that, that, mm, that didn't go well enough for Addison, I think. I, I fear Addison the Grey may, be, uh, may, may have found his, his Balrog. In, in Tom, so to speak. I find it's kind of fun just dumping your, your units down as well. I'm, I'm not sure what these... Uh, do you have any, any idea what these adepts do? They kill light units really quickly. Uh, okay. As much as I, know. Like how, I don't know how they're different from the not Dragoon guys, the Stalkers. The Stalkers. Well, they're more like Zealots, but they've got ranged attack. Yeah. So they're kind of like zealots with a ranged attack. Yeah, but they're a bit squishier and do more damage. Yeah, and and they have some kind of weird psionic projection thing or something that summons a clone of themselves that doesn't do anything or something. Yeah, and they can teleport to it. Yeah, <laughs> that's the one. They, they teleport to it. Not much going on again. Addison is way ahead on upgrades. Oh, 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 I think, yeah, I've heard Anderson grumbling about not being upgraded enough or something, so I'm guessing he's going into this match thinking, I must remember the upgrades, I must remember the upgrades. Tom oh, has plus one. Has, has he got three forges? Because uh, that's what I'd do if I was really caring about upgrades. That's one forge. One forge, and yet so upgraded. I guess, well, so I guess good news in some ways. I mean, that this match seems to be uh, going on for a good while. Everybody is kind of... In t I guess everyone's thinking Protoss worked well in late game, so they're just thinking, let's take this to the late game. So not only did this match take a long time setting up, it's going to be a long, <laughs> <laughs> long dragged out match between these competitors here tonight. Are you basically just learning about the Protoss units? I'm just reading up on what Protoss do, because I do not play them. Yeah, well, I'd like to see more force fields. I remember the Immortals coming in and the uh, strategy videos they had in, in early... Like, like, Blizzard are pretty good about hyping up their games beforehand. They had these cool yeah. strategy videos where one unit would come in and shoot somebody, and then another unit would come up behind them, and that unit would counter the old unit, and then another unit would come in behind them and counter them, and it just made each new unit look more awesome than the one before. And the problem it, with Immortals is you can't really beat them unless you go air. They're just too good. Well, apparently you can counter immortals with marines or something. That's well, why. Yeah, enough marines. Just kill everything. Yeah, well, just enough everything. <laughs> like that, that always bothers me. You just say, "Oh, and enough of this kills this." Like enough of anything kills anything. You could probably kill immortals with enough ice cream. You know, just too much. Too much of anything is a bad thing. E even ice cream. So how's it going? We've got um, Tom's void rays are coming in, but I'm not sure he's actually got that many. Oh, man. And they've got a lot of stalkers there. Why is Tom so damn frisky with his void rays? Explain that to me. He's got those lovely void rays. Bit of a desperation teleports there. Tom is being weird. <laughs> Yet Tom, Tom builds these nice big bases with lots of lovely troops and everything. Glory and then he kind of just goes and does weird things just with them. Sacrifice. Yeah, he just does a, a weird hit and die attack where he kind of forgets to run at the end. Or if they don't die the first time, he'll just send them right back in because, because he wants them to die. I think really Tom is his uh, own worst enemy here tonight. He gets killed. How has he lost? Oh, he's so what? Yeah, and Addison's killed with more units, but oh, this is kind of cool too. I guess people can see that over on the screen there. We've got these cool bars. It's kind of like that um, that level, that game mode they have now, where you've got that psychic battle between two 
Protoss Warriors, whatever, and they're gonna just they're gonna push their lasers forwards against the other guy's lasers. I never really knew how to use those. It feels like they could be devastating. Oh nice nice work um Tom there, was it Tom? It's, it's Addison. I guess the purple I guess those are purple ones. Good good work, Addison. So Addison's got kind of a is Addison winning this? Let's keep the I, this looks kind of over. The Immortals seem like they're in, in good battle there against his not stalkers, his not dragoons. He was really looking forward to upgrading his guys. They were upgraded. He, he's targeting the pylons. So it, it seems to me Addison didn't have such a good base, but he's, he's using his forces well. Whereas Tom had a beautiful base, but somehow did a lot of foolish attacks. And in the end, I think uh, so many, so many gateways though. I keep having to think like, what, what's the Protoss name for barracks? Warp gate. So many gate, gate warp. I, I, I think well, he's also made too many gateways without actually pumping units out of most of them. Like I often find, like four is ultimately all you need, or maybe five is being a bit weird. So this was an interesting but also was well, Addison got I think Addison's got waypoints set at the back or something, so he's forgotten to bring those guys in. There we go, there we go everyone. Victory. Victory to Addison. I, I knew he could do it the whole time. <laughs> and the and the footage will show this, I'm sure. So uh looking at all the stats there. That there'll be time to look at it in YouTube, it was, I guess. It was pretty close. Yeah, oh that that is that is a lovely line, isn't it? They're so close most of the way. And then there's that, that crucial moment you can always see where where it goes down. At least the orange line goes down and the purple line goes up. But there is normally some kind of one definitive point. But at the same time, everything that's happened before that point kind of, kind of leads up to it, doesn't it? The definitive it? point in this game was when Addison decided to attack. <laughs> that's <laughs> the, the problem. That, that, was, that was what happened. Addison decided to attack. Tom died. And, and Tom couldn't really handle that, unfortunately. <laughs> so, is this, this is a best... Uh, what was that Nexus placement? That's what I've been saying! <laughs> Why was it there? Yeah, Matt is uh, questioning the Nexus placement. <laughs> I, I kind of like doing that against computers. I just build a, a command centre next to all my, my barracks and bunkers and things I build up. I want to know who Tom that. It's just yeah, easier to is look at. Where it's actually useful? You would... Is it? Kind of. More useful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tom, you, you will probably... I, I guess at this point you have heard... This is kind of weird. It's, it's me speaking to Tom in the future. Will Tom exist in the present? <laughs> this, this is the fun thing about making little YouTube commentary videos. You're, you're the time master. I, I know the future because the present is going to be put into the future or something. It's all quite confusing, really, when you think you about it. Me, yeah, the so um yeah, I guess it's uh, best two out of three, isn't it? Um. I feel like these these guys are kind of. I'll be interested to see how Tom responds to all this. Maybe he'll learn the error of his ways, not make so many gateways this time. And uh, I feel like these guys are a good match, though. I guess they've been. Uh, I guess that's how the tournament works, isn't it? It pretty much pairs up people who are good matches. Excuse me, folks. I'm gonna go uh, take a sip of my drink because uh, I brought some water with me. <laughs> you could if we knew which map was next, because I don't know. Yeah, we need. We need um... <sighs> so uh, while well, we're waiting, I, I don't know if anybody else out there has been watching these uh, these steamed hams videos. I myself what? am very fond of them. Well, you, you know that scene in The Simpsons. Where it's a bit of a weird episode, and there's a scene where Superintendent Chalmers comes over to Skinner's house, and uh, <laughs> they have this kind of weird, predictable scene where Skinner's roast is burning, and he has to replace the roast with crusty burgers, and and the internet's getting balked again. I don't like this. I just hope that works next time. So anyway, Skinner comes over, and there's a, a weird sort of sitcommy, predictable scene. Wait, does that mean my, my steamed ham story is going to be cut I think out? Your steamed ham. I may have to start. You may have to repeat yourself. I'm going to have to start the steamed ham story again. <laughs> Some of you may know what I'm talking about. 
I feel bad that I know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, you actually do know what I'm talking yes, about. Yes, I know exactly. What I you're love Steam about. Tams videos. Like most of them are pretty good, but we'll have to talk about it later when we're on the record. I think I can't tell whether I'm on the record or not. This is going to be this is apocryphal territory we're in. <laughs> well, it was, it was just a good anyway. We'll. We'll talk about Steam Tams more later on. I'm sure there'll be a small point in the next game you can talk about them. Oh yeah, like they seem to like building bases, these guys. But these are not the, uh, I think the hardcore pros like to uh, kind of attack early on with, with drones and weird just, things. Just like I, I saw Matt doing some weird things using Zerglings and all his drones at once. He didn't you beat him when he was doing that. Yeah, that was a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, but it was a very interesting idea, which is what all these pros That's seem so to do. <laughs> It was a very interesting idea, Matt. It was an interesting idea. Like, it drones was... and zerglings at the same time. Oh, right, the 12 pool. Yeah, yeah that's a 12 pool, apparently. I, love, I, I guess the lesser player, maybe. <laughs> Ooh, sick burns and, and sizzling beef here tonight. <laughs> Yeah, I love the little monosyllabic code these guys come up with as well. Like they, they've got no time to call it a barracks, they have to call it a racks. Like when, when Matt was talking about the racks, I had no idea what he was talking about for a little bit, and I was like, <laughs> oh, he must mean barracks, but yeah. but these guys don't have time for that kind of thing. It's like Chinese or something, they just kind of work with monosyllables. Alright, here we go. It's like 16 extra syllables, man. <laughs> you know, I've, I've met people who count syllables weirdly before. I think uh, another of my colleagues thought that... What was it? I think stuff. That's right, he thought that stuff had two syllables. But uh, I've never heard that barracks has 16 syllables before. Matt is a rare breed. That's, um, just mind you, that. Matt is dyslexic, so uh, <laughs> let's, let's forgive him. One of his many talents. But these poor dyslexic folk, they, they can't help themselves sometimes. Okay, so we've... Um, I, th I think is Addison a, a different shade of purple yeah, this time. Pink this time. He, he's kind of he's kind of lilac, isn't lilac, he? Yeah. He's, that, lilac. That's definitely lilac, I think. And then we've got Tom. You know, there's, there's a and also Tom. He's orange again. Yes. You know, there's a Batman villain called Louis the Lilac. <laughs> I didn't really see much of what he does. He's just in the '60s Batman. He has a lilac on his suit, and I think he, he was going to show up in the next episode. You know, like when as soon as he's defeated one villain. The, the next villain kind of pops up, and it's like, oh, the next episode, he'll beat this guy, and he's even tougher than the last guy. But I never actually saw the episode of Louis the Lilac. I just saw a, re <laughs> a really lousy Batman villain. And, and not even the worst. Like, I think most of us have heard of Calendar Man and everything. I have no idea what you're talking about. Calendar Man is a thing. L Lego Batman mentions most of the shitty Batman villains just, just for the sake of it. So I'm sure there's just a quick YouTube clip of- Oh, oh, excellent though. Since nothing seems to be happening at the moment, I think it might be time to properly go over this whole steamed- <laughs> This whole steamed hams issue. Because I've been enjoying many of the uh, steamed hams videos on YouTube. And, uh, and the deal was there was this scene in The Simpsons- It was a bit of a weird episode, I think, that had various sketches. And there was a scene where Superintendent Chalmers came over to Skinner's house and uh, Skinner burns the roast and ends up replacing the roast with his own cooking and there's these weird awkward excuses from him that it's steamed ham because the smoke from the oven was steam from the steamed clams <laughs> it's, it's just really stupid and kind of no I think what's happened here and then on the internet people have now made these weird sort of spin-offs where it's like steamed hams but Everybody talks backwards, or steamed hams, but everybody raps. Or what, sort of, what corner of the internet are you hiding in? This I've is, not seen this. This is just kind of what... There's loads of it. Like you've, it sounds like uh, you, you've seen steamed hams, but you haven't seen all the spin-offs. No. Yeah, just look up steamed hams, but... And it's, there's loads of these things. Just steamed hams, but everyone's rapping. Or, or steamed hams, but it takes place in Silent Hill. I rather enjoyed that. Or, or steamed hams, but everybody is. is oh, so they got one of Coach and Nick, I think, from Left 4 Dead 2. That's actually pretty good. They they put the work into some of these. Or uh, I think yeah, there's also a steamed hams, but Skinner really is an odd fellow. They make him actually say some real odd things. I'm gonna take your word for it. <laughs> there's so many of these. I like. I didn't ask for this. Okay, this just showed up in my YouTube. And I just watched six hours. Yeah, this is one of those things where you just think, actually, that was all right, and then you, 
uh, anyway, what I think has happened here is that the steamed ham scene by itself is kind of weirdly formulaic and predictable, and that, that was kind of the joke to begin with, and it just means that the, the gimmick gets to shine more. You can kind of focus more on on the weird gimmick, you know, because the scene is kind of reassuringly predictable. And the thing is, I don't really like sitcoms, so I, I find jokes about sitcoms <laughs> to be uh, kind of funny anyway. I love sort of meta sitcoms where it's the joke is that it's a shitty sitcom. You get a couple of things, like The Far Show did some stuff like that. And I, th I think there was, there was something like that in um, Extras as well, like Ricky Gervais had some kind of shitty sitcom his character was in. I, I just like jokes at the expense of shitty sitcoms, basically. Do not care for them. And except for the few good ones. Like, I guess Father Ted might count or something. Like the, all the good sitcoms seem to be written by about one guy, though. There's just this one guy. Still in a basement somewhere. Yeah, well, he's very wealthy now, though. He was, he was rewarded and everything. It, it's not thankless work, luckily. Tom's gonna lose, by the way. Adds and attacks right like, now. Like, oh, I've written all the good sitcoms, but the master has not deigned to pay me. <laughs> that would that'd be shitty, but yeah. Oh, who's winning again, sorry? Like, Addison just needs to attack, and we can be done with this. Right now. <laughs> so, so again, you think this uh, this match might be decided by Addison choosing like, to attack? He has seven zealots. Uh, and you know, he has four. I think, a stalker, okay. You know, I found that one of the things in these games is you've kind of got to see things through the eyes of your opponent almost more than you see them through your own eyes. Like, you've got to... Like, quite often when you're in a battle, you, everyone's losing forces. Everyone feels the death of their own men, you know, and they don't really feel the death of the other guys. And and you've got to, you've got to kind of smell your opponent's fear, I guess I'm saying. And then this Just is Just his fear. Yeah. And, okay. and this is the situation where Addison should be able to smell Tom's fear and go and give it a try. This is it. He walks in. This is wins. it. Five minutes. He walks in the front door. Tom has a stalker. Yeah, no, Thomas' forces are mighty. We can't just go in there and knock on the front door. And Addison's all won a bet. Ha! Oh, he has no army. Does he have teleporting stalkers? He has no army. He could have does, he, does he have teleporting stalkers? No. I just wanted to, Okay, that's fine then. Ish. No plus one. He probably could have micro away. Wait, what the hell is Tom. Like, like, he has another base out there, right? But there's nothing there, is there? It's just warm gates. There's, there's nothing interesting in Tom's base. What has Tom been doing this whole time? You know, what I, you know what I've been doing? I've been providing an excellent... You've been talking about hams. I've been talking about other. steamed hams. Yeah. I don't know what Tom's been doing. Maybe he was talking about steamed hams as well, Maybe for all I know. Maybe he was so entertained with your steamed ham story. <laughs> he can't hear my steamed hams <laughs> yet. He will do, though. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of steamed hams, Tom will be like, Egads, my base is ruined. But what if I could purchase fast food and replace it with my own base? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, actually, if I say if I say the right things now, I might be able to kind of make a steamed hams video. Maybe. I mean, I won't. Okay, good. I have better things to do, but I. Uh, <laughs> it, it should be possible. Oh, super, <laughs> superintendent Chalmers, nice to see you. I can't remember the lines exactly. Why is well, he not shooting that zealot? Is my line. Addison okay, does the occasional got, weird okay, thing. Tom, Tom has one stalker. He didn't shoot that zealot. That was it. That one stalker is going to leave and just wander the world. Okay, so basically Addison won handily there. Addison decided to attack again. Tom managed to fool me with many beautiful gateways and things before. He had a nice looking base, but uh, he, he didn't have it where it counted, I think. Yeah, an army Oh, supply. look at that. What? Okay, I'm confused so now. This is, this is like when he attacked here. He already had double the army. Yeah. And, and he was using them, and then I think Tom's army was more spread out as well, which is important. So yeah, I, d I don't know what Tom was doing. Yeah, Tom was like, ouch. Ouch is right, Tom. That was six minutes in. He should have had an army back Ouch then. indeed. I, I don't know what you were doing. Just I don't know why the ham keeps coming up. It's it's most of what I've been watching. <laughs> it's Seriously, just just try try two. I won't say try one steamed hams video. You kind of need a basis for comparison. I'm saying watch two. And then something will kind of emerge, you know. This is the last you're allowed to talk about steamed ham. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna veto steamed ham. I, I from promise. The I promise minimal steamed hams <laughs> in the <laughs> in the next chapter. If, 
And uh, if Edison wins, then this is we it, isn't it? Home, yeah. This could potentially be it, folks. We could potentially all go home. Oh boy, I'm psyched for this match. Go and watch videos on YouTube. Yeah, we could all go home and watch fine videos like, um... <laughs> um Anything you desire. Like, uh, yeah, any, any... Like, I don't know, the all-star remixes. No, 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 wait, that's right. Steamed Hams has an all-star remix. They have... I forget how they did it, I think they do the scene to the tune of All-Star. So, two major internet things have collided now. When two memes collide. Yeah, I think when the... Uh, remember when the match starts, they will try to mention the Steam tabs as little as possible. La 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 you're here to fill the silence. Yeah, fill the silence, filled with the sound, sing the song to fill the silence. Tom is probably feeling cornered, but you mustn't let that get to you. Mathematically, Tom could still turn this around and leave us all sitting here for a great time to come. <laughs> Tom could drag this out to five games. Yeah, oh, I see. The, I see this match. This uh, this map quite a lot. Kind of look. Um, Ashcall there kind of looks like Artorius, just the helmet. Ashcall. And yeah, I think we've got sort of. It's a slightly muted kind of lilac, though, isn't it? It's kind of a slightly grey lilac. Like it is very pink as well. It is very pink. It is sort of pink grey lilac. It's very. Like, that's how you know they've got kind of low on colours, to be honest. Like, they've got past green and yellow and even sort of magenta, and they're down to this weird sort of grey, lilac, pink. Like, what even is it anymore? Like, it's just. Just a colour that's different from. Um, so I sometimes build double uh, supply depots. What, right in the start? Just, yeah, just because I'm probably not doing it right. <laughs> <laughs> So it looks like Tom has. I don't know, Tom is doing, I think, a standard move for Tom, actually. He's got his kind of little proxy pylon near his base. I guess it's not a proxy it's pylon, not a is proxy. it? That's just a pylon. I just like saying proxy. <laughs> and it's, it's near his base, but it's has, kind of out there. Guarding, guarding is natural, right? <laughs> yeah, I see, yeah, yeah. It's Maybe helping it's to defend easy. this precious resources. Addison's done the opposite and just gone for two gateways really quickly. Yeah, Addison's blocking the way into his base as well. Work, work, I guess it works well against uh, zealots and zerglings and melee guys. It's kind of different against marines, but there, there's no marines tonight. See, the mistake Tom makes here is he's built a forge here when he could build it here and just yeah, fall yeah. off and he'd be fine. And then he builds a couple of cannons and no one gets past. Well, I, like to, I do like to build my upgradey places kind of at the back though, because they, they don't have to do anything other than exist and do stuff. Yeah, that's why you put stuff. them on the wall. Yeah. As long as they don't die, that's fine. Well, yeah. As long as they don't die, they're, they're fine. fine. Yeah. That, that's that's more. That's you, more. You want them to die, if anything. That's more good strategic advice from the school. Of, like, so long as you have enough of them. This is what winning sounds fine. like. Okay. Yeah. Get <laughs> 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 this is. That, that sounds like a T-shirt at the moment. <laughs> this is what a winner sounds like. What is going on here? It's a random pylon. Uh, one too many happens. workers. Well, when's Tom going to realise he's just churning out? Probes there. That's good. That's what you need to do. Yeah, well, he's got too many though. They're in. They're in gas the red. They've got too. He needs to get one of those guys away. No, it's just the red that upsets me. That's the red is telling you to not have so many probes yeah. harvesting the same stuff. So what is the plan? I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure I feel either of their plans yet. He's just making some zealots. They both have upgrades really quickly. Oh, they, they both. I'm not sure how Tom feels about Protoss upgrades, if he feels about them as strongly as uh, Addison does. But uh, just, just going with their deeds, they both are both pretty much neck and neck, I think, for those you first ready? upgrades. Are you ready for this probe to die? Oh, here it comes. It's, oh, very nice. I'm so glad that we... Oh, brutal. Oh, did, did Addison click next to the probe and then click the actual probe? Or, yeah. like, do an attack? Oh, oh, Addison still has some of his old weaknesses. <laughs> like, I think this is what he did with his Archons. I was telling you guys about his Archons. He, he, it, he... Like, this is, this is the sort of thing my dad might do. Like, you try to attack and you're going to click next to it and... and you, you, don't, you don't notice that it, you click next to it because you can't read the UI for some reason. Because <laughs> you're my dad. I think Addison's going to hear this as well. You're comparing Addison to your dad. Yeah. 
Okay. I, I think, in all fairness, Addison probably could beat my dad at StarCraft. It, it's been a while. He used to play Warcraft 2 back in the day. Two. Some of you That's kids awesome. today probably haven't played Warcraft. Like, no, <laughs> when I talk about Warcraft, everyone thinks I'm in World of Warcraft. That's how I know the world has, has moved on without me. Charge. Uh, and charge is cool too. It, it's just a it's just a really neat upgrade for them. Though they can they can dash in at close range. It just it changes everything. No no more kind of like much of the time you feel like zealots are standing there going, oh I wish I didn't just have these blades. I wish I had a gun. But then as soon as they got charged, it's like who even cares? They're just yeah. All of a sudden they're. It's just a great ability and a nice, a, a classic, interesting upgrade. You know, it's, it's way more interesting than just Zillits do more damage now or something. It's a boring upgrade. Apparently, wish Tom would shot Yeah, Tom's got too much minerals, I think. Just for a, cannons. You're never going to get out of gold if you don't spend your minerals. Like I, well, no, I, I used to be one such as he myself. I had many minerals to spend. I, I still won the match, but it, it was me. Yeah, you know, good to save up for the future. He's not going to have a future. He's there is no future on the battlefield. I feel like that's a, something Solid Snake would say. On the battlefield, you don't think about the future. You only think about spending your minerals. Colonel, I need more minerals. Something like that. That'd be cool, actually. Why isn't there a David Hayter voice pack for StarCraft? I don't think there is. See him. Hmm? See him. Yeah. Ask him why there isn't. Uh, I think it's Blizzard are kind of insular, I think. They, they kind of like to have their own little communities. They'll all have, like, famous StarCraft announcers or something, I guess, doing a pack. But they're, they're not going to do crossovers or something. There's not going to be a Mario one. Like, woohoo! Not enough minerals! I've been, I've been playing uh, <laughs> Mario Odyssey recently as well. <laughs> That's why I'm thinking of Mario. You think of Mario a lot. Yeah, like, in the shower, thinking <laughs> of Mario. Just while I'm, scrub <laughs> while I'm scrubbing myself. Just. <laughs> just Mario creeping along behind you like some Japanese ghost. Woohoo! I'm, I'm in the shower with you! Is <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is there nothing happening in the game? No. <laughs> they're still building bases. Nothing is happening, everyone. Nothing is happening they tonight. Said, they said one scout each, and that is it. The wrestling commentators feel like, I've never seen so little action in the ring, JR. <laughs> Everyone's so peaceful tonight. Here's an observer. Nice and, nice and peaceful. That's a good unit. They, they, they are, like, when, when I build too many marines, quite often I find the Protoss end up doing, uh, there. So, is it still Psionic Storm? Yeah. I've played Protoss too little, I think. Psionic yeah. Storm. Oh, okay. Psionic Storm, yeah. And uh, th there, I think, is his uh, his his nerve nerve cables or whatever the High Templar. It's uh, it's strange times for the Protoss. I believe they've been uh, spoilers. I think they've been separated from the Kala. Like, does anybody actually care what happens to the Protoss? They're so weird. I don't know. Yeah, like their their stories <laughs> were like, oh, my brothers have been separated from the Kala. Look, our nerve cables. And, it's, it's just not very relatable, is what I'm saying. And, and their dialogue is kind of... I mean, it makes sense and everything. I guess... I, I guess I'd rather have that than have Protoss, you know, hanging around eating pizza and playing video games or something, just because... That's a more relatable race. Yeah, it's though. more relatable. It's just it would also be stupid and dumb. <laughs> so it, it's, a, it's a tough... It's a tough thing to do. Where is this a, oh, wow, that's so close. And, and their conversations are all kind of weirdly earnest, you know? They, Everything they say, just have you continued the endeavor, my brother? Kind of stuff. You know, yes, I will continue the endeavor in the name of Aya. Superb, my brother, continue the endeavor. That's basically all they say. It, it put me in mind of this uh, Mitchell and Webb sketch, I think, about. Was it called Vectron? That's right. It's basically what they're saying about Vectron. Like, have you continued the endeavor in the name of mighty Vectron? You can probably look it up. I, I'm not sure I can do it properly. <laughs> I can't tell the whole joke. <laughs> If, if some of you were hoping I was going to tell the whole joke. People at home are like, yeah. I wish you could tell the whole joke. <laughs> I was hoping for the whole <laughs> joke. I was hoping you could tell it better than the... No. Oh, Tom, what are you I just doing? give you homework and... Let's bump into that probe. Yeah, you, you get weird situations with probes. I get probes and even zerglings, like solitary zerglings, coming into my base. And rather than actually trying to attack anything, they're just kind of... 
I don't bother to attack them, and they don't bother to attack me, because everybody knows it would be a waste of time. <laughs> and we all just kind of go about our business. It's... I guess it's kind of like how in World War II they had that football match, you know? They had one day at Christmas where they decided not to be at war, and, and they played football, and they sung carols together. I guess they had the same tune, even though the Germans probably sung in German. And the following day, everybody got right back to killing each other. <laughs> That's how that story ends. It's kind of like that. Good time. Yeah. That's what I find funny about that story. Like, pe people love to tell that story and, like, oh, that there was this wonderful truce in World War II and everyone played football together and sung carols. And then they kind of don't bother to tell you what happened the next day, <laughs> even, even though everyone knows what happened the next day, you know? You really need to get told if you know. Yeah, it's just, I don't know, it seems weird. It's like, like people, people stop killing each other for one day. <laughs> Like, somehow that's the day you choose to emphasize. That's cherry picking, if you ask me. Let me take a sip here. It's in the APM. Tom is at a staggering 17 APM. Oh god, this is. Oh, the, the, the current APM. I want to see oh, the. Oh wow, the spike. I want to see the average APM, though. Yeah, yeah, that's the average there. The, oh, right, that's alright. That's alright. <laughs> I need to look a little to the left. Um, okay, so yeah. It looks like Addison's got more APM. In fact, what, what actually counts as actions? Like, I assume, like, nervously highlighting little barracks one after another doesn't count as an actual action. Does it? I don't know. I don't know either, really. I don't try these things. I don't need to inflate my APM. Yeah, some, I, some players do. I don't really care about my APM, but maybe I should, don't know. I return to serve. Of course, um, Addison's... Uh, pylons there come in a fetching shade of lilac as well. The, the pylons, I think the pylons all used to be blue, but they'd have different colour gems on them or something. They've all different coloured pylons now. I don't know how important that pylon was to uh, Tom's overall plans, but uh, it looks like Addison is sticking to the uh, army composition mostly that uh, gave him swift victory before. Stalkers and immortals. Well, eventual victory. You know, th this match, I must admit, is really dragging out. They're not even doing anything, they're just chilling. They what? Ju what? Why is he attacking his own units? And he's practicing his shield regenerating. It, it is important to practice using shield batteries before... Well, maybe he's checking if it's working. Maybe it doesn't work all the time. <coughs> maybe it wasn't on autocast or something, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, it does have autocast. Yeah, it, it does, but I, I'm not quite sure. No, I'm, I'm willing to say Tom might well lose just because he's the one attacking his own units, you know? Yeah, just that's a bad move. When in doubt, bet against the guy who's attacking himself. What, what I would love to see is a full on, like, 200 200 bloodbath here. I want to see blue explosions everywhere and all those uh, Protoss and Void Rays going at it. But I think Addison likes Immortals. I don't blame him, really. They've. they've Similar armies, actually. Um, who's yeah? Addison's got a, yeah, a bigger way army way slightly. It's just three. It kind of looks like a lot of immortals because there's a lot of yellow oh, shelter shit, pads. He has fourteen high power. Oh, I, I think Addison likes archons. Is that what he's going for? I, I think so. Like he he wanted to use archons against me, but he he did the whole dad move and kind of clicked next to my guys. <laughs> there is a bit of a design flaw, I think, in these clicky games, like. How often, to click. Yeah, like how often in yeah. <laughs> Why can't they have mind reading controllers yet? They need to get Doc Brown's mind reading helmet in there. Yeah, the, you try to attack a guy and you click next to them and it makes you walk towards them instead of attack them and that's like the worst thing that could happen. Like the worst thing that you could do is right next to the right thing to do. Just walk past it. And that seems This is this is Tom gonna die by the way. This pylon right here. Yeah, I, I don't know why Tom is so fond of these kind of out there pylons. That's that's Addison's. This is Addison's pylon. Oh, it's, it's Addison's yeah. pylon. This, this means Addison's thinking about attacking. Yeah. He's also done a Tom play and put a base in the corner. I thought Tom was more interested in building Nexi kind of next to his enemies, and uh, yeah, Tom has Tom has done the sensible thing now and built a Nexus. I, I think the plural is Nexi. It seems like it should be. Gee, well, Tom's Tom. got Tom's got a lot there, but. I just have more. Honestly, yeah, when the, when the forces get that big, it becomes kind of hard to uh, handle what you're seeing in many ways. But I think actually, with uh, with so many units on the field as well, I think uh, Colossi are going to be more useful. Addison, without you, oh no, he does know because he's got an observer. Oh shit, here he comes. Oh, I think Addison knows. Yes, 
Anderson can see it all, and is Tom going to bring his all. His whole army? I think Tom's going to. I think he's going to try and attack the base to the east. Bring the immortals. Yes. There they are. Okay, fine. He's going to lose. He's got less army. He's probably going to lose. Well, and yeah, plus I think Anderson knows how to micro better than Tom. Has Tom grown too bold? Find out now. Anderson's just waiting for me. He's not attacked with it. Oh god, no, it's... So many stars. Okay, this is getting interesting, I think. And Oh, the psychic storms, though, they've done it. Anderson's kind of dodgy about attack moving, but the... This whole army is walking The psychic... Him. This is kind of embarrassing, like, Anderson's doing... His forces are just jiggling and he's still winning. It's hard not to admire that in some ways. He was actually attacking with the dog. Uh, if, if only... Yeah, I just... Uh, his stalker's got the teleport as well. Yeah, he did. He oh, Jesus, over. it's all right there. Uh, okay, that was... Honestly, that was kind of embarrassing to watch, because... I don't know, there were, there were many things I could see wrong. But... Addison won. That was, that was good. That's good. I, I, I think... We're all going home soon. I hope you finished your pizza, folks, because uh, I think Addison's going to clean up. He's going to take out the trash. He's <laughs> going to go squirt some lime scale remover into the bath. Because that's what I did a few days ago. Lots of stalkers. Oh, big his, his proxy thing is that's walking nice. in. That's, that's an actual proxy pylon, not just a pylon that's not quite in your base. Tom has almost an army. But th th not, there's not. a there's a stage of delusion I think that many many people get to at this point in a losing game of Starcraft where they kind of think maybe if I build the right things and like pray really hard then uh, my my guys will somehow manage to beat these numerically superior forces and now the well, what there I think there was a point after where the tide turns and it really is just kind of one long game over screen for Tom really yeah. but th this is like. This is the game over screen. Addison might as well have a prompt up that says, Do you want to continue to kill Tom's forces? Or do you want to show mercy? And as long as he clicks yes, then he wins. That's kind of where we're at. So. No, I'm, I'm a sucker for this, unfortunately. I, I do not like to surrender. So uh, I, I have to watch every agonizing moment. Every like, in, you know in Watchmen when Ozymandias has, like, blown up the world and he's, like, I made myself feel every death. That's, that's kind of what I do when I refuse to surrender. I, I make myself feel the death of every man under my command. Well, Addison does weird things sometimes, but he's not fighting those zealots. His, his stalkers are just jiggling. Trying some void rays, figuring they're good, and they are good, but they're not that good. It's not, good it's not so good that yeah, and the stalkers are anti-air guys, are they? Aren't they? Yeah. The zealots running. Oh, that's actually that's cool, actually. You know, when they, they run in and they die, their little ghost kind of still keeps the momentum. I didn't realise that. That's neat. So it, it's like the zealots are kind of throwing hot air at Addison or something. There, they run at him and. You can just kind of feel the, their ghost passing through, going, Oh, for our! <laughs> so, so many, yeah. Just Come on. It, it works there, because... The They're scaring them away. What the... What am I seeing some of the time here? Okay, there we go. Tom decided to surrender. 18 minutes in. Strange moves tonight, but um, solid wins from Addison. Actually, what... Wait, hang on, is... Am I seeing that right? Is... We're getting more... Oh, right, right, okay. Unspent resource... Was, okay, so Tom is beating Addison at the bad things. The bad things. Yeah, you want this to be... More unspent resources. Number. Yeah, spend your resources, folks. Like, if you've got more than 400 in there, like, what are you even doing? Because... That is a really long time to be supply capped. Three minutes of, like... Yeah, what, what was he doing? I, I understand less and less <laughs> <laughs> of what these competitors were actually trying to do tonight. And there's the graph. It's it's pretty much like last time, actually, isn't it? They build up their yeah, they their Protoss bases. They both enjoy building a little little Protoss garden. It's like gardening in a way. And then at some crucial moment, Addison attacks. <laughs> Addison decides he's done playing gardening. And he took some losses, but looks like Tom took twice as many losses. 
And there we go. And so tonight's tonight's victory goes to Addison. Perhaps perhaps after this Addison will be Addison the White and he can have a nice No wait, he'll have to lose his hat. And he get, can't lose his hat. And That's get his white hair. Signature dish. I'll keep that hat. As a reward, Addison gets to keep his hat. <laughs> despite it being appropriate that he loses his hat. And uh, Tom can be awarded <laughs> two steamed hams. <laughs> steamed hams for the loser. I, I call them steamed hams, despite the fact that they are obviously grilled. <laughs> and uh, with that... <clears throat> With that, I think it's time to end tonight's episode of whatever this is. We had a name for it. What was it called? Steamed hams? No, not. It's not called. St even I don't want it to be called steamed hams. We're gonna call it something about tonight today show, wasn't that? The, the something of the week today. To, yeah, tonight the, week. the the today show tonight is that taken? It might be. And uh, great, yeah. So let's good good night, everyone.